Turning a resource into an Open Educational Resource, or OER. Imagine what you could create if you had access to a wealth of resources that could be used by anyone, anytime, anywhere. This film shows you how to embed an open license, like a Creative Commons license, into your Open Educational Resource, or OER, and the types of rights and licensing issues that you will need to consider. Step 1. Gather together the digital resources you are going to use in your OER. Inside the box are lots of wonderful things like images, letters, manuscripts, diaries, photographs, paintings, sculptures, sound recordings of songs, lectures or speeches, and films. Step 2. Find out who has created the resources you have gathered together. This might include students, freelancers, artists, photographers, academics, filmmakers, authors or songwriters. Step 3. Decide how open you want your resource to be. You will need to think about balancing the ability of users of your OERs to freely use and possibly repurpose your resource against any possible concerns you may have about the possible loss of control of your resource. You may wish to consider how you might achieve this by using a Creative Commons license for content and open source licenses for software or code. Step 4. Seek permission from all the rights holders to use their content. You need to gain permission from any rights holders, which allows you to use and license your OER under the terms of the specific Creative Commons license that you have chosen. Step 5. But what if you can't trace the rights holder? You will need to make some important decisions. You might like to use the OER IPR Support Risk Management Calculator to help you. Your options might include do not use the work and find something else, or develop risk management strategies to deal with the orphan works. More about these issues can be found at the end of this film. Step 6. Create metadata about your OER. The metadata may include information such as the author, the date created, or the license terms. Step 7. Add the metadata and license you have chosen to your OER. There are lots of ways to do this, but the most important is to make sure that the information is readable or visible in the OER. Go to the Creative Commons license picker on the Creative Commons website, select your license and add your information or metadata. Then copy and paste the image onto your slides or the code into your web page. You can try other things too, such as embedding license and associated metadata records, but adding a visible license to your content is the most important one. You can find out more about embedding a Creative Commons license into your OER at the end of this video. Step 8. Track the use of your OER. This can help you to learn about how people are using your resource and how you might be able to improve it in the future. You can find out more about tracking your OER at the end of this video. Step 9. Look forward to the possibility of lots of happy people using your OER. They might be viewing it online, sharing it, teaching others with it, or even using it to help them make their own OERs. And that's it. Once you've learnt the ropes, it's not as difficult as it may sound, and you'll be able to produce OERs which are properly licensed and which benefit many people. So good luck!